start out by asking, um, what is the book about? Yeah, it's essentially a, a science book, uh, but uh, based uh, very much on spirituality. Um, as you know, science and cosmology has several paradoxes, you know, like what is, did the universe uh, started with the Big Bang, for example. Everybody knows Big Bang. Is that real or not? Was it created or not? Or did it exist? Or what will happen to it? So there's all these paradoxes and questions about the universe and life, and it's all m intertwined with the spirituality, who we are, where we come from. All these questions are basically addressed in this book. So it started out by a simple question, teaching your son. Correct. Correct. And I remember in the green, green room you were talking about, it le kind of led you to Einstein's theory or? Yeah, well, I started looking into his book and I looked at uh, uh, a, the last chapter of his book was Einstein's theory and re relativity. And when I was, I started looking into it, I s uh, started seeing similarities between uh, what Einstein is saying versus what we hear, uh, uh, what uh, spiritual masters are saying. And uh, to me, that sounded like as if uh, they're saying the same thing in their own language. The language of science is more on, in terms of material, uh, the yes. ma material world. Yes. And the language of the spiritual masters is, is in terms of life and who we are. But I started seeing that they're saying the same thing if we convert one language to the other. So you, were try you saw a bridge where most people see a, a, a gap or a chasm. Exactly. People see duality, means they are two different worlds. Uh, one is mat the world of matter, you know, the stars and galaxies. They see when they when you call somebody says universe, they mean stars and galaxies and things that are shining. That's what I do. Yes. Yeah. But what people now finding out from you know cosmology and people who are studying the universe that is all dark energy. <laughs> the biggest puzzle of the Big Bang and all the universe creation and how it's expanding is dark energy and they say that in the whole universe the amount of matter is only four percent 96 percent of the universe content of the universe are not matter they are energy dark energy and they also call dark matter which they don't know yet if we really what we see and what we can account for scientifically is four percent visible matter Rest is all unknown energy or mass, which nobody knows what that is. Do you have an idea of what you, do, you, do you have an idea of what dark energy might consist of? Might be? Yeah, that's what this book is all about. Um, essentially, um, I started with uh, Einstein's theory, like E is equal to m c squared. Everybody knows that what that equation is, mm -hmm. but it has a very deep meaning um, that. You come to, if you really look at science, it looks at the material things, it thinks the in inanimate s matter or like, the things. I can touch and feel. Uh, yeah, they don't have consciousness in the sense that they cannot, do, don't have a free will. They can't move at their own. Like this table or the book. Yeah, the book, chair, you know, this glass. It, they cannot move. They, so the science addresses or electrons, poor protons, all these atoms molecules. These are all inanimate things. They do not have uh, their self free will or motion. It's not like us that if we want to get up and, and go, they cannot get up and go. <laughs> right, right. In, in that sense, they don't have a free will. That's good. <laughs> now, if you look at the phenomena that's happening in the universe, look at even Big Bang. It happens at its own. Nobody, you know, if you really look at it, it's happening. It, it's still happening? It's, is that what you're saying? It's expanding at its own. Nobody's its pushing it. So you're saying it has maybe a, a consciousness or? Yes, I'm coming to that. It's a consciousness you, is a word you can, in, in science we call it spontaneous. Anything that is spontaneity or spontaneous uh, uh, motion is means it can occur at its own without an external force. For example, I can get up and, and start moving without any external push from within. From within. So the motion, if you really look at 
uh, the science, it will not, it does not recognize a self-induced motion. If you take Newtonian laws, like you, you put a force, you can exert a force on a thing and it moves. In car, for example, you can push it or you can start an engine and engine gives a force for it to move. So, something has to move it externally or from, you know, uh, from a, 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 which is separated from it has to move it, uh, all the material things. But if you look at the universe is not like that, all the life in the universe has self, self motivated. All animate objects. Animate objects. They, uh, have. they have life in it. Now, science does not recognize that. They do not have a mathematical formulation for that. Why not? That's what is missing. That's, the, that's the, if you, if you take all the cosmology theories which try to predict the universe today, they do not have, they will have atoms, electrons, particles, uh, galaxies, stars. They do not have a formulation, a mathematical formulation as to how things move how does a motion start? And for that reason, what I found out from my research that because of that missing physics, that missing phenomena in their theories, they run into several paradoxes. Dark energy is one. For example, when they try to uh, predict the universe based on these inanimate matter theories, they find out that 96 percent is missing they can't account for it and they call it dark energy. Dark does not mean it's dark, it means they don't know what that is. I thought it meant without absence of light actually. No, actually it's all light. <laughs> it's all light. Actually the empty space is full of light and photons. Dark means they cannot measure it by any instrument. Since they cannot measure it, they cannot see it and it cannot become come into their conscious consideration, so it's, they call it dark. It's not dark by its illumination or anything because it's pure light. The pure light moving in space, you know, the, the sunlight that is coming from the sun to earth, you can't see it. It will be dark in the space in between is dark unless there is a dust in it which the light can light. So, light itself is cannot be seen. So, it looks dark.